Hello, welcome. One day, humanity will perish. Let's take a look at one of the main threats. A cobalt bomb is created by encasing a quantity of ordinary cobalt around a hydrogen bomb. Upon detonation of the hydrogen bomb in a fusion reaction, it generates neutrons which in the second stage convert ordinary cobalt into radioactive cobalt vaporizing it in the explosion. This radioactive cobalt dust then settles back on Earth, contaminating the environment and initiating a gradual extinction of living organisms. Cobalt-60 has a half-life of approximately 5.27 years and during this period, it emits intense radioactive radiation. The first five years are critical as they not only involve high radiation levels but also reduce the possibility of human survival in shelters. If metals with shorter half-lives had been used instead of cobalt, short-term survival in shelters might have been more feasible. The reason this bomb is considered more perilous than other types of nuclear weapons is due to its long-lasting and intense radiation. The radiation intensity of the cobalt bomb compared to a typical nuclear fusion fission fusion bomb is as follows. In the first hour, 15,000 times. In the first week, 35 times. In the first month, five times. In the first six months, remains the same as the first month. Beyond this initial period, the radiation intensity of a regular nuclear bomb decreases significantly, resulting in the following ongoing intensity ratios for the cobalt bomb. In the first year, eight times. In the first five years, 150 times. The prolonged half-life of cobalt isotopes means that Cobalt bombs continue to emit radiation for 75 years longer than conventional bombs. In theory, with 510 tons of cobalt-60, it would be possible to contaminate the entire Earth since approximately one gram of cobalt is sufficient for every square kilometer. However, this assumes that all cobalt becomes 100 radioactive, which is not practically achievable and is uniformly dispersed across the Earth's surface. Nevertheless, it can be stated that one cobalt bomb alone could potentially eliminate all human life, which is why this terrifying weapon is often referred to as the Doomsday Machine. Thank you for watching until the end of the video, in hopes of world peace.